How much for the flowers? Who eats mushroom caps? Do the caterers have any idea what the Ooh. Jews just went through? A Everyone looks ago? so young. <laughs> eating. We're very happy. Oh my God, the trauma is so real. <laughs> no, pilots are so weird because you shoot them in a bubble, you shoot them totally I mean, we shot that episode months before we shot the rest of the season. We didn't even know if there was gonna be more. And so we were all just kind of feeling in the dark. I mean, we all look so young. <laughs> we, have, we have aged rapidly. I stopped watching myself at a certain point. I am, in case you could, I'm like sweating to talk about this. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm kind of an anxious person. And I think the thing that's so hard about film is that you can't change anything. Like no matter what you did, you can't go back and change it. Whereas in theater, I feel like I'd have an easier time watching something I was doing on stage back because you have 800 more chances to, to change it and it grows and it turns into something else over time. But you put something down on film and it's there forever and you can't do anything about it if you hate it. I guess shortly after the pilot was finished, Amy and Dana, one of our producers, and Dan uh, had kind of invited us to come, Michael and I, who plays Joel, to come and see what they did in the editing room. We were both like, we're so curious about editing. Can you show us what goes on in the edit, like the color correction and all this stuff? And they were like, totally, come to the, come to the office, we'll show you. We walked in, they shoved us into a room and turned off the lights and just started playing it. And I was like, N -n -n I gotta, <laughs> you know, just like sheer panic, I have to leave. And I just, I think I, I just, I, I, I was so traumatized. I, I, I mean, I sat, I still can't, I, I, I sat through the whole thing. And I got, Michael and I got into a car afterward and I just was like, I, I, I think we just ended our careers. I think I just ended my career. I think it's over, this is the end. Who's gonna watch this? What, the, I, you know, I short circuited, much like I'm <laughs> doing right now. And, um, and Michael, I think, turned to me and was like, I thought it was pretty good, you know, I think I, and so Michael and I had to stop talking about our, our work because I don't want to traumatize the, the poor young man. It turned out fine, uh, reader, it turned out okay. That was one of my audition scenes, so I think really fondly about that scene a lot. There were three big audition scenes, that one, the big fight with Joel, and the sort of meltdown set at the end of that pilot. So I owe a lot to that scene, even though it's hard to watch back. Tony, I don't know if there's one word, but Tony was, I mean, an icon, a national treasure. So intimidating, not because he's intimidating, but because he's Tony Shalhoub and he's a comedic genius. And, uh, and, and now, you know, Tony laughs at his own jokes more than anyone I know. <laughs> he's one of my all-time favorite people. He's been so supportive and such a great leader. And, you know, we're friends and we're family this long in, but we were all still getting to know each other then. I was scared to talk to Tony. I had actually known Michael for a number of years uh, before we did the show together. So that audition process was really fun because, you know, I think naturally we had just more chemistry than anyone I was meeting for the first time. And, you know, I love Michael so much. He's... Wait, you knew in the audition that he was one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in the... When I saw him in the waiting room, I think we were just like, oh, shit. Like, oh, fun. Okay. You know, it's... It, it's it's nice to do something familiar with someone. And they have such a history, Midge and Joel. And so I think there's a lot of trust there. We're like polar opposites in most ways. And it's been really fun to like fight over the stuff that we love that Midge and Joel are up to and the stuff we hate that Midge and Joel are up to. We're never on the same page and it's the best. <laughs> so if, if I asked Michael like who's better, Midge or Joel, he'd say? Joel, obviously. He would definitely say Joel. He loves Joel. And who do you think's the best? Midge, obviously. Yeah.